I just got back to Los Angeles, California. London was crazy. I, uh, I, uh, I just saw KSI's reaction video to mine and his little brother Deji's fight. Deji, I, I'm, I'm disappointed. That's honestly how I feel, man. I expected more from you. How did you think you were ever gonna win this fight? And the more I think about it, the more heated I get. So I'm gonna try my best to keep a level head throughout, uh, through this. You actually made Alex Wasabi look good. You made this man look good. Okay. If you haven't seen KSI's video that came out yesterday, it is pretty much just him doing everything in his power to make sure that if his little brother isn't already at rock bottom, that he 100% is now. You lost. Oh, you lost. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you like losing? Because it looks like you just love it when people feel sorry for you. You don't have what it takes to win a boxing fight. First of all, Deji, without a doubt, put in more work in this camp to get ready for this fight than he ever has before. He was in the best shape that anyone has seen him in. He put in the work, he lasted the entire fight, and he showed heart through every bit of it. I believe that I fought the best Deji, the prime Deji. This is the best Deji has ever been. If this had been a rematch with Vinny Hacker, this Deji would have destroyed him. And the thing is, I don't understand how you've somehow got people telling you that you performed better. When he fought Jake, it was Jake's first fight, and they fought with headgear and 16 ounce gloves. And he still busted his nose. And Jake's taller than me and probably has a, a longer reach than me. And when he fought Vinny, he was rocking Vinny the whole time. He just didn't have the cardio. But when he fought me, I knew from his previous fights what he does and I made sure to shut that all down. Deji has power and quick counters. Him slipping and countering is how he hit Vinny so many times, over and over and over. So I shut that down. Knowing that he was fast, I would throw and if I missed, I would fall in so that he couldn't counter. I would close the distance so I could take away his greatest strength. And whenever he did throw, whether he landed or missed, I would respond immediately to deter him. It wasn't just an accident, I planned it that way. You can fool your audience, Deji, but you, you can't fool me, man. You simply just didn't do enough. It wasn't that Deji didn't want to throw. I just shut that shit down. You don't even use your hands! Make it make sense. I just don't understand. How are you gonna lose your redemption fight to Alex Wasabi, man? Now on to... Big Brother KSI. This guy is literally a child in a grown man's body. Bro, you need to chill out. What are you doing? You literally have no legs to stand on. You have no legs to stand on now, bro. Keep the hate on me like you've been doing for years. Make a, make a laughing at Alex Asabi 3. I don't care. But why do you have to put your brother down? Does it make you feel better? So Deji, let's just stop with this whole narrative that you did better in this fight than you did in the last fight. Because first of all, like anything would have been better than your last fight. And secondly, you're still lost. You're still lost. You're 0-3, Deji. You've lost three times. This is your little brother. I can understand tough love, but why do you have to be unnecessarily mean to your, to your family? Family is everything, everything. Like, come on. How am I the one Defending your little brother. There is a fine line between tough love and just being an asshole. After everything that man has been through, you just had to pile on. You had to add your two cents. No support, nothing encouraging, no, hey, I'm always here for you. You couldn't even muster up a single encouraging word. The, the whole video was just, your whole video, this is your, this is your brother. This is your, if, you're supposed to lift him up, not tear him down. Oh my gosh, if, if anybody talked to my little brother like that. You even went in on Deji for being humble and interacting with his fans that traveled all the way to Wembley Arena to support him. What really annoyed me, man, was when you were asking the crowd straight after losing, being like, yo, should I fight again? Should I fight again? Why are you asking them? Is it their decision? How do you even go in on somebody for that? If the audience told you to run into a wall, you're gonna run into a wall, wow. I'm getting so mad, I can't, I can't even. When you have a little brother, they look up to you. Your voice becomes the voice inside their head. What do you think your voice is sounding like right now inside your little brother's head? If the bullying him into being a better fighter tactic 
did not work when he lost to Vinny Hacker. What makes you think that going in on him even harder after this loss is gonna help? What what are you what are you doing? Now I know we were gonna be like, oh JJ, you're being so harsh. You're being mean. I don't care, fam. <laughs> I don't care. In your video, you kept saying, I'm not talking to my fans. I'm not talking to the audience. I'm talking directly to you, Deji. I'm not talking to all these people. I'm talking to you, Deji. Then do that. Why do you have to publicly shame him? Am I a dickhead? Am I a dickhead? Let's be honest. You didn't make a video for Deji. You weren't talking directly to Deji. I'm just frustrated, man. I'm just frustrated. You know, I left all this beef between us go. I let it go. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go to London. I'm gonna get in the ring with Deji with the whole entire UK against me that we would let this all go. Win or lose, it'd be done. No more beef. After my fight, I even took the time to greet you in the ring to make sure we were good and put all this to rest. JJ, you got a tough man. Yeah, I know. He's a tough boy. He's a tough boy. <laughs> and I was expecting a fair play Alex Wasabi tweet. Something like that, like you did for Vinny. I guess that's just too much to ask from somebody like you. That, that, that's just not who you are. JJ, just, just do me a favor and keep that weight up, boy. Because if you come anywhere close to entering my weight class, I will humble you. And I guarantee that your little brother, being the good man that he is, will be there to pick up the pieces. He will be there for you. Deji, I didn't know that that's what you had to deal with. You are an absolute legend. You are a legend, bro. Never giving up. Always getting back in the ring. And watching your maturity grow with each fight, that's something that your fans, including me, is going to take and apply to their own journeys. They're going to learn from that. And that's, that's you. You got what it takes. You got the discipline. You get better each time. Okay, not each time, but the last time you definitely got better. The last time you got better, for sure. That voice message you DM'd me, that was maturity. That is something that I'm sure you didn't do after your first fight, but you sent a voice message. It was all respect, it was all love. That's, that's who you are. All right, that was just a little venting session, I guess. Um, looks like I'm still a little bit in fight mode. It, it's only been like like four days. We're gonna get back to the positive positivity stuff next 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 video. Let me know your thoughts on this video too. Cause it, it was kind of aggressive, but he was just being so mean. After like what? My brother would never say that to me. He would never say anything like this to me. If, if I lost, I already know. Like I'm just I can't wrap my head around this.